Mayor Whitmire says he'll be keeping a close eye on the investigation into more than a quarter million suspended incident reports by HPD. To that end, the mayor appointed a panel of five people to make sure it's fair and complete. Liliana Pearson is live outside of HPD headquarters. And Liliana, you spent today trying to meet with those five panel members, but I had heard you had a tough time. We did have a tough time trying to reach out and talk to them. We didn't hear from anyone besides one member. That member is out of town. I was told I would get a statement from them, but we never received it. Another person we couldn't get in touch with, and at least two of them we know are being asked not to meet with us for the time being. It's a promise city leaders have made from the start. I definitely want to be as transparent as, as, as we can. And we will let them know exactly when and where and who had access to this suspension going back to 2016 when it first appeared. Accuracy and transparency for victims and the public. To ensure that happens, Mayor John Whitmire announced a five-person independent panel that will review HPD's investigation into over a quarter million suspended incident reports. Your panel members are former councilwoman and state rep Ellen Cohen, current Texas Ranger Jeff Owls, City Attorney Arturo Michelle, Houston Deputy Inspector General overseeing police reform and accountability Christina Nowak, and Reverend and Harris County Sheriff Chaplain Leon Preston. With so many ties to city and law enforcement, we wanted to ask the members if they feel they can be impartial while reviewing the work of their city colleagues. We reached out to the Texas Rangers to get in touch with Owls, but never heard back. Reverend Preston referred us to a statement we never received. The mayor's office says that they are asking Nowak and Michelle to not speak with journalists. The only panel member we've heard from so far, Cohen, standing next to the mayor at Wednesday's announcement. I think the panel really represents a cross-section of the city, and I know we're going to get started. We've actually done some things already. So no, today we have not been able to ask any of these panel members if they feel like they can impartially review this HPD investigation into the suspended incident reports. We were also told by the mayor's office that the people they're asking not to speak to us, not speak to us until they're able to meet for the first time. The panel set to meet for the first time this coming Wednesday. From downtown, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.